In addition to this amazing new fitted in the mint chocolate chip lid sent over, let's unbox a few other things because Google sent me a pretty surprising gift package. Before we dive into the Google items, let's hop into the Supreme items first. Only right, it is a Thursday when Supreme drops happen. I have the olive socks and as much as I love them, I'm only keeping a single pair. They are just far too big for me, but I love the olive aesthetic, so nice job there. Uh, as part of the Google package, they sent over this beanie. Uh, awesome material. I love the fit of it. It is tighter fitting to your head, so I love the beanie. I also got more socks in a three-pack. Super colorful, all of the primary colors, plus the green added in, and some dark chocolate Godiva truffles. Like, can't go wrong there. Now back to Supreme, when you're just lounging around, listen, even as a woman, it's comfortable to just throw on some men's boxer briefs. You guys honestly have way more comfortable clothing, so we'll toss those on just to hang around the house. And then the Al Green Love and Happiness shirt. So this came in a number of different colors. I picked up the yellow and I hear that it's restocking quite a bit. So if you missed out, be sure to get one. Oh, and finally, the Yeezy Desert Boot in Rock. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see, yeah These days I don't worry about much I think we should have some more fun I still dream about the days when we were young I'll take a hit and still think What we're actually here to see though, more importantly, the Yeezy Desert Boot in the Rock colorway I went up a whole size to a 7 and I highly recommend you do the same this boot originally dropped back in 2019, so this is the first time we're seeing a re-release for the desert boot itself. It will release in two different colorways, rock and oil. Think of a more rugged, beefed up Yeezy 500 high because essentially that's what this gives you in a boot form. You have three different materials to make up the upper and mesh, which is underlaid under nubuck and suede. The mesh certainly helps add a little more breathability to the boot itself, although of course you intend to wear this in cooler climates unless you just happen to want to wear boots all the time. I mean, listen, people in New York do it all the time with Timberlands. The only visible branding on the sneaker is on the underside of the outer sole, which says Adidas square in the middle. However, some people have said be a little careful when walking on ice in these because it doesn't have the best traction. You can see the hairy suede along the front panel of the sneaker. You do have some elasticity in the tongue, but it is connected to the boot itself. The Yeezy Ortholite insole present stamped with both logos. And then of course you have pops of 3M on the upper of the shoe. We're seeing delays across the board. This originally should have dropped in February. However, the re-release is set now for March 14th. And here are some quick side-by-sides of the Yeezy Desert Boot and then also the 500 High so you can see how close they are in design. Both will offer a mix of textures, but you do have more of that neoprene on the 500 High versus just the mesh, suede, and nubuck on the boot itself. I wore my 500 high a lot throughout the entire fall and winter season, so this boot will really serve as another staple as we move into the next fall and winter as we're kind of getting out of that at this point. The midsole on the 500 high is a little bit more dynamic. I'm curious, would you care to see the midsole of the 500 high on the boot? Be sure to comment that below. And which of the two is your favorite? What's going on everybody? It's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. And if you guys secured any of the hats from the ice cream pack, be sure to comment those below. Love this. Now, fun fact, I can't stand mint chocolate chip ice cream. I think it's disgusting. However, this hat is it and it's perfect for spring and summer. So I'm very excited to have this now. Again, as you guys know, I won't necessarily be able to get this hat on my head when I have my hair in a different style. So we'll see. I'm definitely gonna have to go to my local lids, get my head resized <laughs> for some fitteds, and then circle back and we'll see what lid sends over. But uh, there's another special package in relation to Black History Month. I will show you guys tomorrow. I just couldn't get it out uh, any sooner. I terribly apologize. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the recent videos for the unboxing for the Bad Bunny forum. 
power phase and now this awesome package from Google. So fun connecting with Google via Twitter during the Super Bowl, specifically on Super Bowl Sunday uh, for their hashtag seen uh, by Pixel. So uh, listen, great, great, great gift box. They even put something in there for my dog, which was actually pretty cool. And I appreciate that. Now, in terms of the Supreme drop, very happy with the Al Green shirt. Absolutely love it. Some of you didn't get an Al Green sticker if you ordered the shirt, which was a little weird. I thought everybody got the sticker too. So also comment below. Did you get an Al Green sticker? If you ordered the Al Green shirt, you guys saw that debuted in the Bad Bunny video as well for that review with one of the outfits but I thought everybody did came with candy too and let's talk about these socks okay so there some people will advise even if you're going to buy something from streetwear designer doesn't matter like stay away from the accessories the staples something like just underwear or socks because you can go to someone that specializes in that and get those actual items and they're not wrong when they say that. I mean, let's be honest. Stance makes socks. They specialize in socks. I own Stance socks that are much better quality than the Hanes Supreme socks that I got. And my feet are too small. I'm at the very start of that size range for those socks, which they list as size 6 to 12. It's better suited for a size 12. I'll figure out what I might do with the rest of those socks. I don't know that I'm keeping all of the socks. I wore one hat i won i wore one pair from the pack and i'm still trying to decide what to do about that and yeah when i wore them i actually rocked them with the yeezy desert boot rock and that's also what this video is about so as you know this will restock later on this month in march the restock was pushed back it was originally supposed to drop in february on the 21st but because a lot of retailers didn't have their stock in or they only had half of it in adidas chose to push the restock release back so um it is set i believe it's march 14th but i'll make sure to put the correct date here on the screen for you guys to reference and as you know you can absolutely enter raffles for clicks and sneaks um, be sure that you are also part of the subscription list because when they have random restocks that aren't even on instagram but maybe they just get another shipment in uh, they'll let the subscription like members know first and that's an easy way to be able to secure a pair you may want for resale and i wanted to give you guys a little bit of a different angle and view versus just the traditional on foot so let's take a look at that so normally for any on foot you guys are seeing this from a front view but why not actually show you from the top down because when wearing the boots this is exactly what you will see if you're out and about and you go to sit down this is what the boot looks like on foot had to run some quick errands, but here's a full view of the boots on. Yes, I threw on a pair of Supreme socks I just got in, and this is when I also learned that they're just far too big for me. Listen, I create content, so as a content creator, you will see me out snapping pics of my sneakers, but let's agree, this was a great shot. But we do this with all of our shoes, right? No matter what, we snap a few pics, whether we're out and about, getting ready to leave the house. I mean, don't tell me you haven't ran a little late to where you need to be because you're trying to get the perfect on-foot shot. It's okay, there's no judgment here. I also had to drop off the brand new ochre slide to a friend who was gifting that to another friend. Funny enough, of course, when I wear these, the weather starts to break. It's like a high of 52 outside, snow is all gone but if you live anywhere where there's still real winter you know we'll continue to have some colder days it won't just remain 50s across the board for weeks at a time until we really break probably into end of april i would say early may so i'll have a chance to still enjoy these boots i'm so glad that i went with a seven because even a six and a half would have been just too tight and i've even heard some say going just one size up is still not enough for them but i would highly Highly recommend if you're gonna go for these boots go one size up just please do that your feet will thank you uh, but now I have the desert uh, boot so it, it's pretty much meant for I guess more of next fall and winter because we're almost out of winter now but there are so many other options to carry me into the spring and as you guys know March is heavy 
well, heavy for all the Air Max lovers. We're all interested. We're at the edge of our seats to see what will we get. And we've seen some leaks, so I guess we'll have to stay tuned for the rest of the possible Air Maxes that could drop. I've already told you guys I have two for sure on my mind. That's the 97 Silver Bullet and then one of the Concepts Air Max 1s to drop. We'll see. I know they have teased some women's Air Max 1s. I am curious to get a full layout, full picture, full debut of what those will be. Uh, but hopefully you guys are able to secure something that you want. I know more is dropping this week. It's also a heavy Jordan brand month in terms of the 12s and the sixes and i know there's a women's six that's also going to drop so comment below whichever pairs you're going after i thank you guys so much again for tuning in hopefully seeing the desert boots on foot if you were on the fence uh hopefully gives you just a better idea of what they look like again i'm a true size six six and a half it really just depends on the model itself but i'm wearing a size seven here as always act your age not your shoe size peace